What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you guys want some cheap MT, make sure to hit me up on Instagram and Twitter for the fastest and most reliable purchase on the internet right now. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video and guys today we are gonna go over some things on the market. Before we get into the video guys smash that like button drop the sub if you are new. Let's get 100 likes on the video for MT giveaways on Insta and Twitter. But yo oh my god Rashad Lewis the market is going nuts right now. We got a lot of we got a lot of stuff coming. I want to go over Stuff that's coming this week and what's going to happen to the market, market talk, MT methods, pretty much all in this video. So guys, let's get into it. So as you guys do know, the main MT making method right now is going to be everything with the Showtime filter. Okay, as you guys do know, yesterday, man, people were buying Chris Weber for around 300,000 MT. And I was like, guys, guys, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? This card is not worth that much. As you guys can see, he's at 99,000 MT. This is on Xbox. So I wanted to talk about this. Um, pretty much, if you guys bought, if you guys, this is what I have. I, I don't know. I, I'm about to lock in Kareem. I'm just waiting. Because right now, guys, it's end game. You don't want to force. I have Rashad Lewis, guys. Okay, I have him right here. It's end game. This is what I'm telling you guys to do. Okay, do not lock in Kareem yet. You're going to get him for cheaper. You got to work your butt off to get to Kareem, okay? That is my my best method for you guys right now. If you really want to lock in Kareem, go ahead. He is the best center in the game. But here's my opinion, okay? To make MT right now, you could simply sit on the Showtime filter. I'm recommend I'm recommend uh, I'm recommending the Pink Diamond filter like right there. Penny Hardaway 9900. He's a lot more than 9900, guys. This filter is going to make you a lot of MT. See, I'm just I'm about to make a thousand MT easy all this filter. So if you guys want to lock in Kareem instead, I rather you guys just hold on to your Rashards. I got Rashard yesterday for around six something. He's up to 750, guys. So it might be a little different on PS4. Right now, man, I am going to make millions of MT just simply waiting on Rashard. Because I'm telling you right now, Chris Weber. Shaq and the other cards do not hold value. Shaq maybe holds a little value, okay? Because it is Shaq. Who doesn't want Shaq? It's Shaq D's. But Shaq D's isn't like he's the only player that holds. Because as you guys know, Rashad Lewis in the set was the very, very hard player to pull. They made sure of that to make Kareem very expensive. So that means Jimmy Butler's cheap. That means Chris Webber is going to be cheap. When you saw him at 300k, that was a complete fluke. He cannot hold that value. He will never hold that value again. If he does, it's it ha it'll happen for like the first hour or two. So if you had your Chris Webber's up for a bid, that was a huge W. Other than that, huge L. Um, But yeah, pretty much, man. Kareem is going to stay at this price for the rest of the game. Giannis, Pippen, all them, they're going to stay at this price. They might rise up a little bit because like I said, man, everybody else in the set has no value. Jason Kidd, Bosch, they all have no value. That makes Giannis's value increase in price consistently. Now, it is endgame. We're about a month away from the next 2K. About a month and a week or a month and two weeks. Token market updates coming. We could see a new Giannis because, like I said, man, there is no Hall of Fame range. So that's what I want to talk about. There is no Hall of Fame range on this card. Last year, bro, the 99 Giannis for the collection award had Hall of Fame range and was the best card in 2K. 2K likes to make a lot of money. Well, I th do I think they're going to drop Giannis in a token market update? No. They are going to make thousands of dollars off his drop. So my predictions, man, they're going to drop Giannis. There's going to be an even bigger market crash. And if they do drop Giannis, this takeover Giannis will drop. So my opinions, I would sell this card right now. Now, for the centers, they do not have a Goat Kareem. I mean, Hakeem, which I think they should. He does. What does he have? One ring or no rings? He deserves it. They're not going to give it to him now. So like I said, Giannis is going to drop. That's also why they did release LeBron James and T-Mac in these token packs. 
they want to drop the prices they are going to drop goat cards we're going to have a better prediction video later but here's the thing the market is going to crash consistently every single day from here on out they drop this token market because they're going to release more cards now is there any center goats left i would say bill russell but i think they're going to make bill russell power forward center he's runnable at power forward not really center so much but if they do make goat bill russell i'm going to try to get him i like the small forward opal so i think the power forward center opal is going to be insane too so overall right now what is going on what should you guys be doing to make mt in my opinion i've been scoping out the showtime cards and the takeover cards the most because those are the cards that are going to get thrown up the most. Those are going to be the cards that have the most consistency in the market right now. So Pink Diamond Showtime is probably going to be your money filter. Like I said, man, if you invested in any of these cards, Nate Robinsons, Danny Mannings, Penny Hardaways, they were at like 3K, 4K, 5K. They're up a ton right now, guys. So pay attention to the showtime opal filter if you want buy out jimmy butler buy out chris weber look my penny hardaway sold i made a quick thousand mt like that um but yeah showtime filter takeover filter consistently consistently watch Giannis's price if you see him at 725 honestly i don't think pippen's worth it at this stage of the game i mean is pippen worth about nine hundred thousand? i don't think so man you're probably gonna see his price drop you're probably going to see Giannis's price drop once they do drop the Hall of Fame. A little bit, because you do get Pippen as a reward. So it depends. But right now, what should you guys be doing, man? Sell your whole team. Period. Sell your team. Thank me later. You're going to see a huge market crash. Do not hold on to any valuable cards. Unless, in my opinion, people are saying don't hold on to Rashard or Jimmy Butler. It's kind of hard to tell at this point, man. It's endgame. It's almost very hard to predict. In my opinion... I'm holding on to Rashard to see what they're going to drop later this week. I don't think his price will drop that much more. It really does depend. You, you Honestly, there's really no like guarantees. There's no anything. It's just, in my opinion, I think Rashard's a better hold than Giannis because Kareem is going to be the best center of the game for the whole year. Okay, he's it's Kareem. He's very lengthy. He has a post-hook cheese. He's got a three-point shot with a money jump shot. Unlike Shaq and Wilt, their jump shots are trash. So, overall, man, i rather hold on to Rashard than Giannis. That's what I wanted to say. MT Methods, man. No investments. Sell your team. Do not invest in any card. Simple. Some filters, man. I'm just going to say this right now. I think this Galaxy Oba filter right here is going to be the best in the game. Um, probably the most consistent in the game. And also, if you guys invested in Jason Kidd yesterday for 19 k Let's say you invested a mil on him. You're going to make about 2,000 a pop, which is 5 times 10, 50, 50 times. is about 100,000 profit if you invested a mil worth. So oh, it's not bad either. There's a lot going on right now, guys. There's a lot that I really can't even control. It's really completely up to you how you want to take this methods, how you want to do this, how you want to do that. But if you really want Kareem honestly go for it but in my opinion man as an mt guru as i work the market i like to hold my mt i like to make mt i don't like to lock in i haven't locked in any sets all year that's why i have gold collector level and that's why i have all this mt chilling here it's just a method of mine i don't think it's worth locking in i mean no it's worth locking in because kareem's the goat but honestly is there even game modes that you could play online i mean like unlimited isn't fun is not fun whatsoever in my opinion it really isn't um i don't know i just don't want to lock it in because i don't feel like tto is not fun anymore because they don't got good rewards and say when unlimited there's really no good rewards it is end game there's about a month and a half left and they haven't really updated any of these rewards but they continuously drop content which kind of gets me a little upset because i do want to play unlimited i love playing unlimited even though it is sweaty it's just if i don't go 12 and 0 these rewards are really bad. Like, I went 11-1 trying to go for Glenn Rice and Beasley. It was really upsetting. But, yeah, market's going to continue to crash. We're going to see a lot of shift. We're going to see a lot of ups, a lot of downs. All I'm saying is we're going to have a prediction video later. I'm almost guaranteeing a T-Mac and Giannis um, and LeBron. I'm telling you, they're going to drop them. They got to make him, They got to make more money. But, yeah, other than that, man, that's it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. We're going to have some content later. Have a good one, guys. Peace.